Abundance Through Community Living. One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 496. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do-it-yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution-creating models in the service of all life on this planet. My name is Jay Sable, and I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 51C3 nonprofit organization. One Community is bringing together people with the consciousness and the desire for the highest good of all life on this planet to build sustainable, regenerative, and self-replicating teacher demonstration hubs as a pathway to global sustainability. This is our September 25th, 2022 edition of our weekly progress update, and today's topic is one that I love to talk about. It's forwarding abundance through community living models. And I have talked for months, every once in a while, I'll go off about a millionaire, million living a millionaire lifestyle and, uh, and about luxury community living. And what I mean by that is it's really about defining a millionaire lifestyle as access rather than ownership. It's about looking at like what is the highest quality food we can possibly grow, you know, and what is the what is the best food that we can grow and what is an environment that really enriches us as a person and contributes to us to us as an individual growing and having value in our life and making a difference and ultimate happiness and what and like it's about asking like what defines abundance what does it mean to thrive and so when I talk about forwarding abundance through community living models from one community's perspective, it's about looking at the complete living experience and saying, how can we optimize that for people to make the greatest difference in people's lives, to make the biggest difference in the world, and to create the most amazing, healthy, enriching living experience possible. And so we think to create complete community environments designed to support that. It's about taking all the foundations of a sustainable civilization and packaging them in one place to create the most amazing environment possible. And those foundations have been broken into two different categories, physical foundations and emotional foundations. The physical foundations being what everybody's currently aware of, food, energy, and housing, and then combining those with the emotional foundations that we've identified as fulfilled living practices, what we call highest good approaches to education, economics, and truer stewardship and putting those things together to forward abundance through community living models by demonstrating a way of living that most people will consider to be far superior to the way that they're living now because we're doing better in each of these categories we're building homes that are healthier to live in and last longer we're growing food that's healthier to eat that's locally grown that's more diverse than what you can get in the grocery store because we don't have to grow it to have a shelf life you know because it's picked fresh and because it's prepared with love, because we're building it with renewable energy, because we're creating fulfilled living models that are integrated into the very fabric of the environment that we are creating for ourselves so that everybody's contributing and so that people that have a passion, a love, something that really touches your heart and soul can share that with other people that want to learn and grow from that and experience that as well, all within walking distance and without any cost associated with it. That's huge. Creating education models that are kid-centric and, and designed so that parents can be integrated at whatever level that they want and designing kids not, or telling kid designing, designed so that kids are not just focused on what to learn, but growing their ability of how to learn. Economic models that are based on cooperation and collaboration instead of competition, like, re, like resource-based economies. And through that, uh, adding to that millionaire lifestyle, when I talk about access versus ownership it's really about a resource-based economy like what we call highest good approaches to economics is we have a for-profit and a non-profit version of our of our project aspects of arms of our project and we're open sourcing and free sharing both of those but the economic model that's based on a resource-based economy is built on this idea that I don't need to own a power drill if I always have access to one. I don't even need to own a vacuum cleaner if I have easy access to one. You know, the same thing goes for a car, a quad, a jet ski, all these things. I don't own a jet ski. I don't own a quad. I don't own a 4x4. But in a community model where we pool our resources, I could easily have access to those things anytime that I want because my investment in that would be divided by all the members of the community. Have a 200-member community? Investment is one two hundredth of the price, and access is the same. So 
It's like having the tools and toys of life when you have a cooperative model and a collaborative model instead of a competitive model or an everyone for themselves paradigm is objectively better, you know? And then there's truer stewardship. You know, this idea of like, how do we operate as truer stewards? How do we create and contribute to the ecosystems that we are a part of instead of destroying them? You know, so forwarding abundance through community living for us and through our open source model is creating the tools, tutorials, and resources and do-it-yourself instructions covering all aspects of sustainable living and then creating that as a living example that people can come and visit and experience and demonstrate as a teacher demonstration model designed to teach other people how to create their own teacher demonstration models, models designed to teach and demonstrate what is it we're creating. So when people come and visit one community, everything that they see is open source and free shared so that it can be replicated as either individual components or as the complete model and available through the internet as well as through coming and visiting in person so that people can experience what it is that we're creating and then take that home with them and either implement an individual component or get motivated with a group of others and build their own version of abundance through community living and modify and adapt that to meet their own needs. You know, we're creating everything with what we call as a mentality for the highest good of all people in life on this planet and open sourcing and free sharing that so that people can take that and replicate it as either the individual components or the complete community model and then apply their own value system to it. If people wanna create a prepper community, like a survivalist community or something like that, that's great. If people want to create a community based on some sort of religious leaning, fine. If somebody want to create a community based on art and music, well, that's kind of similar to what we're creating. So, but our main focus is on world change and open sourcing free sharing. And so maybe they want to create that without the world change aspect. Maybe they just want a community based on expressing themselves as artists. Then that is possible as well. That's why we're open sourcing and free sharing everything we can and we're designing it and open sourcing the very open source model itself so that other groups and organizations that want to open source their content and their designs can do that and will promote them as well by sharing what it is that they're creating as a branch of what we're creating, another iteration, another version. And so in so doing, we create a global cooperative, a global collaborative of organizations working together to create a better world for everybody. That's what we're doing. This is our idea of forwarding abundance through community living models. Create a community model and demonstrate it's easy enough, affordable enough, and attractive enough so the idea will spread on its own and let's create a sustainable world within our lifetime. It's possible to do that with a self-replicating model. You know, if one community inspires two more communities in the first year that we're up and actually running, and then us and those two communities inspire four more, and then us and those four inspire eight, and then 16, and 32, and 64, if you were to continue that multiplying replication process, we would include every single human being within 30 years. Now, some communities will fail, some will, will thrive even more. The point is, is we don't have to include every single person on this planet to create a sustainable world. We just need to create that critical mass that tipping point of sustainability so that we are positively impacting all people in life on this planet and we have achieved a base level of sustainability and then from there we can thrive and create abundance in whole new levels knowing that we have achieved sustainability and this is what one community is doing within our lifetime we will achieve that base level of sustainability globally and our goal is to comprehensively address the greatest challenges of our generation and generations to come homelessness, crime, poverty, um, social injustice, inequality, models like this. If I had an hour just to talk about each one of those points, absolutely can do that. And so we're motivated. So this is what we're up to. Uh, subscribe if you like a weekly dose of positivity like this in your inbox. Visit our weekly progress update uh, blogs if you'd like to see exactly what our all-volunteer team has accomplished within the last week. Visit our website if you'd like to see all the open source content, tools, tutorials, resources, do-yourself instructions that address the food, energy, housing, fulfilled living, the highest good approach to education, economics, true stewardship, all that stuff. And um, visit our helping page if you'd like to help out. Uh, certainly, you know, every donation, even $5, makes a difference. You know, volunteer, getting involved as a volunteer with our team, uh, or there's lots of other ways to contribute as well just by sharing our content or uh, signing up for something like Amazon Smile. There's lots of different ways to contribute, so something for everybody. So with that said, 
Uh, stick around for a couple more minutes if you'd like to see the bullet points on all the major components of our project. And until next week, we will, of course, keep on keeping on, because that's what we do. Thanks. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. One Community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. One Community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. The next component is highest good education. This component is complete and pretty much ready to launch once we're on the property. One community's approach to highest good education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet.